Hello friends, welcome to Global Online University. This is our 8th episode for MCQ series of paper 1 for SET examination and UGC NET examination. You can watch our earlier episode link for that is given in the description and in the comment section. And uh, please don't forget to mention, write your comments, your score in the comment section. Moving on to the questions. First question is, primary education in mother tongue has been safeguarded in article. So friends, the primary education in mother tongue has been safeguarded under article 350A of the Indian constitution. So uh, this is the correct answer. I hope you got it right. Question is which of the following is not considered as a plagiarism. So friends uh, first of all understand the plagiarism is taking someone's work so, and not giving him a credit is called plagiarism in any uh, scientific field. So here first option make use of another uh, work work of another and misrepresent it. So this is a this is also a plagiarism drawing content from someone else's work without acknowledging him. So here uh, you are taking someone's work but you are not giving credit. So this is also plagiarism. Paraphrasing too closely to the original text. Sometimes what uh, authors do that they write a paragraph uh, which has similar meaning, similar meaning but they paraphrase it in such a way that it, will, it looks different and no software will detect it. But this is also comes under plagiarism. And uh, option D, drawing content from work of another and acknowledging it. So this is not plagiarism. You can ask, take uh, someone else's work, write it, it and give a due credit to it uh, in reference or in bibliography. So this is not called plagiarism. So correct answer will be drawing content from another work and acknowledging it. Now moving on to the next question. The question is bibliography refers to. So friend, just now we have seen the plagiarism where you take someone's work and duly acknowledge it. So where do you acknowledge it? You acknowledge it in the reference or the source. So here list of sources used in the report or in a journal, in a paper or in a review article and their address. So where they can be found. List of source and where they can be found is called bibliography. So I hope you got it correct. Moving on to the next question. The question is, our dress code is an example of uh, discommunication. So friends, our dress code is also an exam example of an communication that is non-verbal communication because we are uh, our dress code also gives a message. So the uh, answer is non-verbal communication. Our dress code is an example of non-verbal communication. Moving on to the next question. Question is, hearing is only an important component of. So friends, hearing itself is an important component of listening because listening has three important steps first is hearing then attending and then receiving so remember this listening has three steps key uh, key component that is hearing attending and receiving next is letter email or telephone are an example of so friends letter email and telephone are channels to pass a message. Remember this, they are channel to pass message from the sender to the receiver. So um, letter, email and telephone are channels. Now moving on to the next question. Next question is a response to sender's message is called. So friends, a response to sender's message is called feedback. So feedback can be a, a reply to email or to a letter or to a message. So whatever reply you give is called a feedback. A response to sender's message is called feedback. Now moving on to the next question. Next question is when we say that communicational communication is intentional, it means. So friends, he, uh, when intentional uh, communication is called uh, where sender has intention to affect the behavior of the receiver. Remember this when <coughs> sender intends to affect the behavior of receiver it is called intentional communication so the correct option is a now moving on to the next question next question is identify the correct sequence in the communication so friends uh, so far we have seen few uh, questions so you might have got the idea of what is the correct sequence so the correct sequence is first uh, sender he uh, gives a message through a channel to the receiver so uh, remember this the uh, current sequence is first 
sender then message then through channel to the receiver so the the correct answer here is d uh, but i have wrongly marked a the correct answer is d remember the correct answer for this sequence is sender message channel and receiver now moving on to the next question which type of waste is classified as non hazardous waste so this is our last question and uh, it is easy the non they have not asked for the hazardous waste so the chemical nuclear or industrial waste are classified into hazardous waste but the agricultural waste is non hazardous waste i hope you have liked it please subscribe to global online university thank you.